Hello, so today's tutorial will be how to make hair cards in Maya, part 2, hair card textures. First, let's pull up a hair card reference. Usually I'll make 5 stages of hair cards. Stage 1 is in red, stage 2 is in yellow, stage 3 is in blue, stage 4 is in green, and stage 5 is in purple. This just helps me visualize how many hair cards I'll need to make, and when layering them, how to make them look natural. Like in part 1, let's start off with a plane. Remove all subdivisions in width and height. Then create a rectangular shape. Slightly rotate the plane. Move the plane to the side. Using the same process as part 1, let's open up XGen. Click Create XGen Description I'm going to call my collection Hair. My description name will be Hair underscore 001. Click Placing and Shaping Guides, then Create. Now, let's place the guides. Adjust the guides to your desired length or reference. I'm changing the length of the guides to get a more pointed look, like the stage 1 reference. Then click rebuild and change it to 8. Change the modifier CV count to 25. The width to 0 0.02. And make the density 100. Adjust the width ramp. Now adjust guides to the reference. Now let's make a mask. Click create map. Change map resolution to 80 and start color to black. Remember you want a solid painting circle and change the color to white. Paint your mask. Once done, click the save icon. Now let's add modifiers. This is very dependent on the hairstyle you're doing, so please refer to your references. Now that the first card is finished, let's make the second. Duplicate the plane. Move the plane beside the first one. Click Create XGen Description. Change the new description name to a hair underscore 002, then click Placing and Shaping Guides and Create. Now, this process is very repetitive, you have all the tools to continue making as many hair cards as you need, so I'm just going to speed through to the new stuff on how to make the maps.
Okay, let's say we have all the hair cards we want now. Time to make the maps. Go to your render settings. In the common tab, scroll down to image size and presets. Change preset to 4K square. Then go to the AOVs tab. Click add custom. Name it AO. Open your hyper shader. Press tab, then type AI ambient inclusion. In the render settings, select AOV node. Now middle mouse drag the AI ambient occlusion texture to the shader. Now let's open the Arnold renderer. Press the play button. Nothing will happen as there are no lights. But change beauty to AO. Ah, we forgot to hide the planes. So just go in your outliner and hide your planes. Perfect, now we have our AO map. Let's open up render settings again. This time, click add custom and type flow map. Open hyper shader again. Click tab and type sampler info. Click tab again and type set range. Click tab and type multiply divide. Click tab and type AI flat. Now connect set range value to the sample info tangent V camera. Click on set range. Change all the max values to 1. Change all the old min values to negative 1. Then change the old max value to 1. Now in set range, connect out value to multiply divide input 1. Click multiply divide. Change the operation to power. Then change the values in input 2 to 2.2. In multiply divide, connect the output to the AI flat color. Go back to render settings, then in flow map, click select AOV node. In the hyper shader, middle mouse click AI flat and drag it to the shader. Now in Arnold renderer, press play. Switch AO to flow map. Okay, now we have a flow map. Go back to render settings, then click ID and the double arrow. Now we need to change the X-Gen hair to polys. Select all your X-Gen hair. Click convert primitives to polygons. This can take a minute. Hide your X-Gen hair in the outliner. As you can see, you can select individual pieces now. Open up the Arnold Render view and click play. Change flow map to ID. Okay, now that we have all the maps we need from Maya, let's set up the camera. Change the view to side view. Click film gate. Click view and select camera. In the attribute editor, go to fit resolution gate and change horizontal to overscan. Now you have an exact frame of what image you will export. Fit your texture to the square. Go to view and click lock camera. Open Arnold Render View. Press play. Check and make sure you can view all your maps. Now let your images render to 100%. This can take a few minutes. Once finished, save your images as PNG. 
since the tutorial is a bit long, I will end it here for today. In part 3 I will go through finishing the texture maps with Photoshop, then making the cards in Maya, and importing them into ZBrush for hair card placement. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day.